Hello guys, this is Sarah Tutorials and I have a tutorial for you today. Uh, it's on how to create motion blur in Cinema 4D R13. This works for any version the same way. Uh, but before I start, I just want to say that uh, Cinema 4D R13 uh, is on my website. If you want to download it, it's free. Uh, the link to my website is on my channel. And uh, another thing is that some people were asking me uh, to create a tutorial on how, to, how I did the intro that I used to have. Um, yeah, I'm, I might create, I might do that later. Uh, but this time I'll just do this tutorial. Maybe when I have more time, I'll do another tutorial. So yeah, just to let you guys know. <coughs> so open up Cinema 4 gr 13, and this is what what we're gonna be creating today. As you can see, when they when they spin uh, the cubes, uh, there's motion blur around them. So that's pretty cool. Can help you out in animation. So let's uh, create a new file. Um, also, maybe once I'll do a tutorial on, uh, on the rendering settings because some people don't know. Some people who start out in this program they don't know how to. Uh, set the rendering settings so uh, if you want me to do a tutorial on that uh, please put put it in the comments below but anyways let's create an object it doesn't really matter which object uh, maybe a sphere whatever okay uh, then right click on the sphere go to cinema tags and select motion blur okay uh, and then duplicate this. Oh no! Wait for it. at first. Uh, click on the uh, little tag of motion blur, and then uh, you can either increase the strength or decrease the strength. You can do a little test of it, but when rendering, just render uh, a few frames or yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, what I like to keep it at is uh, 150. Depends on how fast the objects move. So uh, now let's duplicate it. So Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, whatever. Let's put three. Oh. Okay, let's just put them apart and let's select all of them. So first, select first one. Hold Shift. Select the last one, uh, and then right click uh, group the objects you don't have to do this if you're actually working on a project or anything it, this is just you know just to spin them around I put them in a group so that we can spin them all around in you know the same sequence yeah and now let's go to frame 0 set a keyframe go to frame whatever you want for example, I'll go to frame 70 and then just spin this around as many times as you want to. And yeah. And then set a keyframe and go to render settings. Uh, go to effect and down here, uh, the second to last one should be um, vector motion blur. Okay. And uh, yeah, just keep you can mess around with the settings but I wouldn't recommend to okay uh, then just select where you want to save it uh, name it okay then select which uh, format okay and just yeah you can select whatever width and height you want 1280 by 720 is YouTube uh, HD settings. Anyways, uh, let's render this. Uh, yes, I already did this. So, oh, sorry. Let's go back to render settings and what is it? Output and then frame range. Uh, select all frames and then let's try. Uh, let's try this again. 
Yeah, and I'll be back when it's up, when it's done rendering. Okay, uh, it's done rendering, and this is what we have. As you can see, it looks quite nice, actually. So, this will be it for today's tutorial. Just a simple little, you know, tutorial. Uh, and it might be very useful in your animation, anything. You can put it on anything. It makes a lot of things look uh, realistic or good. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and thumbs up this video if you like it. See you next time.